Aloha everybody and welcome to Beach Walks with Rocks. Today is show number 207 and you can find us at beachwalks.tv. It's the week before the women's Molokai race and you know as I was driving to the beach this morning I had just a gazillion metaphors running through my brain and one of them is this saying that an old girlfriend of mine used to say uh, when we would talk about relationships you know and people have a tendency to get in a relationship and after you're in it for a while you start complaining about the other person and she used to always say rather wisely I thought you know water seeks its own level. <laughs> And when you think about that, that's a really great way to explain it. And of course, I'm around the water all the time. And one of the things, you know, that Secret Cameraman and I try to do is when we get the camera set up, we try to get the water line reasonably level. And, you know, that's sort of a natural state, right? And water is fluid and it's liquid. And when it's in a container, even if that container is planet Earth, it has this way of, of finding its, its stability. And when you think of that, or when I think of that, in terms of people and relationships, um, we, we find each other based on what it is we have in common, or what, what it is that we're working on, or, or what it is that, um, you know, where, where we sort of fit. Because there's so much incredible diversity in life, and different levels of skill and interest uh, in virtually everything, right? And so, you know, we see that in the canoe. Um, you have six seats in the canoe, and if you have five paddlers who are really strong, and one paddler who is weak and is getting out of breath at a certain stroke rate, um, then you have a decision. You can either accommodate the five strong paddlers, knowing that that sixth paddler isn't really there's my paddlers, going to be able to contribute that much and you're going to just carry along anyway or you can back off a little bit so that that sixth paddler can be working at a pace where she can really contribute her effort and the other people are a little bit backed off from their maximum. But it, and, and that becomes one of these sticking points, right? Because people want to be all the same ideally in the canoe. You want to have everyone at the same fitness level and really well coordinated so that when you're paddling together you can all paddle your strongest and get to the front of the class, you know, front of the race. But of course in reality, you know, life is always, life isn't usually that neat and tidy. And I think it also helps explain why a lot of do-gooder programs sometimes don't work because, you know, self-esteem and improving ourselves and getting to a place where we're better at a job or better in a relationship or more confident at something that we do, it really is an inside job. It isn't something that other people can give to us on a platter or force down our throat by being angry. It's something that has to come from within. You know, right here, just through the forest, uh, 200 yards is an AA meeting that meets every morning. You know, what a, what a beautiful place to have an AA meeting. And, you know, AA is a very interesting phenomenon in itself because in a typical meeting, you might have CEOs and homeless people, which normally they would have no interaction. You know, but we have this entire spectrum uh, of people if you look at the category of income or business success or something like that. But for that hour, they have something in common, which is that, you know, they, they share the desire to get rid of an addiction to alcohol. And so in that hour, they can be very effective with each other, whereas, you know, in, in other interactions, they may not be so. So I find that that helps me relieve stress when I'm trying to get people to be a certain way or get myself to be a certain way is to just kind of realize, you know, water seeks its own level and making change is an inside job. And so focus on myself if I want things changed and uh, get off everyone else's case. So that's the story for today. Thanks so much as always for joining me. If you'd like to Skype, it's Roxanne Darling. If you'd like to call, the number is 949. 
1456. Aloha, everybody. Ahui ho!